Hello and welcome back to MyMetaverseMinute.com, your place for the latest news, views and opinions from the Metaverse. Now today's episode is brought to you by Cloud Wars Expo, running June 28th to the 30th at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. I will be there leading tracks and sessions alongside Bob Evans, founder of Cloud Wars, and the rest of my Acceleration Economy colleagues. You can join me there. Um, just go to CloudWarsExpo.com to learn more. Join thousands of CXOs June 28th to 30th in San Francisco, California at Cloud Wars Expo as we explore a new metric called the Time to Dazzle, exclusively focused on how long it takes to dazzle customers with new business models that are enabled by the cloud, empowered by AI, and optimized with human ingenuity. Register today at cloudwarsexpo.com and join a movement to make dazzling customers the metric that matters. Now today, I want to give you a little bit more information about a story we touched on a couple of weeks ago. We um, mentioned the collaboration between Meta and the huge telecoms giant Telefonica and about their aims to create a Meta Lab in, in Madrid, Spain. Now, Meta have revealed more information about this collaboration and it's much bigger than we initially thought. It turns out that they want, us, they want to use Spain as the, and create the global metaverse capital in the country. It's huge news for Spain's um, technology sector, and it looks as though there could be up to 2,000 jobs created. Um, that's the amount of people that um, Meta have said they'd like to recruit. And this goes across various um, areas. This will be um, tech companies, tech startups, this will be individual developers, um, and anyone else involved in the metaverse industry. But the important thing is, is that Meta want to center their European and potentially their global reach in terms of their metaverse technologies in Spain. Now, what this really says is the metaverse has the ability to create massive new hubs in the real world in places where they didn't exist before. We talk quite a lot about how within the metaverse, users will be able to um, develop communities um, and societies will be, able to, will be able to grow, technological societies will be able to grow um, independently, okay, and users from all over the world will be able to meet and congregate on the metaverse to achieve shared goals, dreams, ambitions, regardless of where they're from. But what we don't often talk about is how the metaverse will actually impact specific regions. And this news coming out from Meta is really interesting because Spain isn't a very well-known hub for technology, but with this influx, it really could well soon be. And what does this mean for other places in the world? Could it mean that actually areas of the world where, for example, um, the, the green energy, because we hope this is going to be a green energy powered metaverse, is developed, areas where there's lots of solar power, areas where there's lots of wind power generation available, could these become hubs for the metaverse? Could we see the um, engineers, <coughs> the scientists, the technicians that are required to create the energy go to other parts of the world where the energy industry may not be so um, well established to actually develop the infrastructure needed to hold the metaverse? Could we see places um, where components are actually created become the center for data centers? Who knows? The opportunities really are endless with this, but I think this is really, really exciting news because it really shows how the metaverse not only can impact the online lives of the people that are involved in it, but actually geopolitically, globally could impact entire nations. Until next time, stay tuned and stay curious.